four wins, two draws, 15 goals scored, all following Harry Kane's departure. I find it painful, but we're going to have to be very complimentary about Tottenham Hotspur on this video. Helping me do that is my dear friend Adi Oladipo. Please make sure that you subscribe to his YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. Thank you very much. Adi, I'm not going to enjoy this video, but we have to... We have to do this. We, on some level, we have to appreciate the brilliance of the football being played. Yeah. And Postacoglu is a breath of fresh air. The mm. candid nature, the way that he approaches interviews, it's a joy to behold. And Tottenham are onto something, aren't they? Yeah. Quite what? I don't know. This is it, right? I think we have to be patient with it. What are we, six games in? Mm. It's been a great start so far. No one expected it. Even you and me, I think prior to the Arsenal game, we were like, well, they haven't played anyone yet. Mm. May United were not great at yeah. the time. Let's see what they do when they go to the Emirates. And for 35 minutes, I was almost like, yeah, they're not that team. And then somehow, Mate. they stuck to their principles. Like, this playing out from the back nonsense. I was like, I tweeted, what are they doing? Mm. But they stuck to it, stuck to it. Obviously, look, uh, Madison got caught uh, by Jesus. They're lucky not to get mm. sort of... Um, I think they could have won the game. Oh, I think Tottenham could have won the game. Tottenham could have definitely Mate, won the uh, game. Because you know what I think happened? Mm. You know how they haven't won there since 2010? Mm. I think that was on... The, the club's mind. I think Postacoglu was potentially aware of that and wanted to get something, knows the importance of a point. Did he though? Why did he take Son off? Exactly. Oh, oh, oh he wanted to get a, a point, you mean? He wanted to yeah. get a point. Okay, I think yeah. I think if it was, if the exact same fixture was being played in a, in, a, in a, not the same fixture, but the same game being yeah. played, but they were away at Everton. Yeah. I think he doesn't take Son off. He doesn't bring Hoybier on. I tell you now, if this wasn't his first North London derby mm. and he had gone to the Emirates before and won, yeah, hundred percent. He's going for it. Yeah, but they haven't won they this were, since twenty ten. Yeah, yeah. So they were point. on the ropes, yeah. Arsenal, and he could have gone really for it and kept Son on, kept Richarlison, and done done all the stuff. Do you know it's a fixture in certainly in this country where the first goal ne couldn't mean less. Like the amount really? of t yeah, because just keep them going back, back and forth. Yeah, yeah. Like ne no fixture mm. in in the Premier League does scoring the first goal mean less. Best fixture in the Premier League. It's certainly the most goals, I think, yeah. in terms of like intense games, in terms yeah. of in terms of games where you know that the three points mean so much more than just three points. Generally, they can be a stalemate. It used Liverpool, to be Man Liverpool, United. Man United. It used to be I don't know that's Liverpool, as Newcastle intense. for a time. When yeah, they had that the back four and, threes. Yeah, but it's all a bit of a myth now. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, I think there's always goals. Yeah, There's always goals and there's always comebacks. Mm. It, is a, it is a great fixture. But I just wonder now, Tottenham getting a result there has yeah. shocked me. On, on many levels it's shocked me a little bit about Arsenal and it's mm -hmm. also shocked me about what it means for who Tottenham are yeah and I'm now wondering what, what, what the wondering? ceiling is like wh where what is the ceiling because I think the question is, is there, simply there are, this there are Madison injury away from this all just stopping yeah a lot of clubs are that though a lot of a lot of, a clubs, lot of clubs can make adjustments because yeah, there is no even depth at there time. is there is no other creative midfielder. No, there's no depth at there, the club. There generally, yeah. they've got a great first eleven. Yeah, there's, there is no real yeah, depth. That's the problem. But let's you know, I think every club, a lot of clubs, would struggle without their talisman. Agreed, agreed, agreed. So, so if you look at it, if you look at it like, let's just assume that he doesn't get injured. Yeah, let's assume that assume all their starting eleven can stay forever. Yeah, fit forever. They are a big problem because they've got a manager that they seem to want to go for a brick wall for. Mm. Right, a manager that comes yeah, in with his own energy, factor, a manager that is happy to be there. Yeah, Conte was almost like I'm stepping a level Conte down. Conte hated Mourinho them. hated it as well <laughs> to an extent. This is a manager that's come in. He's got Son firing again, yeah. who I think is the best finisher in the Premier League. I really do. I think he's better. Than, I trust him going through on goal other than more than anyone, mm. more than anyone. I think he's that special. Uh, Kulusevski's a ball like runs around. Can Son? Yeah replicate his partnership with Kane, which was the best that the Premier League has ever seen yeah, yeah. in terms of those terms assisting of one another. Yeah. Can ooh, James ooh, Madison ooh, ooh, and Son... Well, that's a big statement. I'm not suggesting they, that they would have to elevate the no, goals. that's a big statement what you just said. Yeah. The best partnership the Premier League's ever seen. If that's factually true. Oh, in, in terms of goals? Yeah. Okay, because it's yeah, not yeah. Henri Burkamp, is it? No, but it's more successful. In, in terms of... In terms of In terms goals. of the ball in the back Yeah, in terms of... Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah I think win it, something. Do you know what it was it? prior to that? Lampard Wait, oh, you should, why didn't you let me guess? Sorry, mate. Uh, I would have just Shira Sutton, though, so I'm happy. Would you? No, I would have just Shira Sutton. Lampard Drogba was yeah, the... That's not, that's not a partnership. I mean, it's literally a partnership. No, it's not, though. They're not two strikers. No, but they would you assist. Can't do that. They would assist. They assist that's like me. I, would say, I, I wouldn't say Gerard Torres. Mm, you, yeah, you could. You could <laughs> if they scored more goals. <laughs> and one more trophy. <laughs> <laughs> um, different show, different show. But if this Madison Son link up yeah. can work because it, you know what think about that goal the second goal you know when uh, Jorginho got robbed yeah Son deserves all the credit of course he does not all the credit loads of the credit but not only did James Madison rob it 
then do everything well, drive at the heart, lay it off. The weight of the pass and the angle of the pass was so exquisitely delivered that Son had no Have you changed no your choice. mind about Madison? Remember, don't even try and backtrack on this. When we was on Talk Sport together and I said, I think he's like pound for pound signing the season. Yeah, yeah, no, I said it's uninspiring. You said uninspiring. The reason I said uninspiring yeah. though is because I felt like they needed so much more. Okay. It, wasn't, okay. it, wasn't it, wasn't, about, it wasn't a dig. It wasn't, I just said like, because what was being what was being said about Tottenham was yeah. they've signed Madison. Yeah. I was like, okay, they've lost Kane. They need, yeah. they need more. How good is he though? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that goal, I mean, you could say exactly what you just said about that goal for this first goal. Yeah. Where he just absolutely sends Saka oh, to the Saka, shops. Oh, yeah. Sends him to the shops. Literally sent him the other way. Dropped him, yeah. Dropped him on the shoulder and then Son comes in. It's almost like they've already got this telepathic thing yeah. going on. Yeah. Which Kane and Son had. Yeah, I wonder if they could replicate. Look, it's, it's certainly... It's certainly exciting for them mm. that this new partnership could challenge the old one. Yeah. So let's just say that, you know, that we can always talk injuries, but I find it slightly, I find it slightly dull because... No, no, everyone can Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what, what are your expectations of Tottenham this season? Top five. Top five. Um, it's, it's a good 11. Mm. I like it. I like Saab, Basuma. By the way, we're not even, giving, we're not even talking about Brendan Johnson. I mm. think it's a good player. Good should have signing. scored. Should have scored. Good signing on the weekend. Um, yeah, he's bassoon as a man possessed. Destiny Adogi is unreal. Incredible. I think I mean, you know like about Adogi. Van der... Adogi got absolutely destroyed for the first thirty-five minutes mm. by Saka and Odegaard on that yeah. on that side, and just didn't give up. No, I didn't know. give up. I like him. Strong. Um, Poro on the other side. Pedro Poro on the other side. Again, another good sign in the goalkeeper. Mm. But anything's better than Larice, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, anything's better than Larice. But. Um, the reason I say fifth is because I do think the other squads are just stronger. Stronger, have been together as a unit a bit longer. And so I do you still them... think Arsenal, who I've always said that Arsenal can win the league. They can't I'm, win the I'm league. wavering. Yeah, they can't win the league. I'm wavering yeah, six games in. I can't, can't believe it. No, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Well, you know, they're only one point worse than they were last season. Doesn't Expectations matter. have changed. That's the problem. Also, if you just look at the where they're dropping points. You know, they're not the pro- their problem is. Fulham. It's, it's, it's the midfield. It's the midfield. He got it wrong. Spend all that money on, on your friend Havertz. Yeah. yeah. I think I think there's a problem at Arsenal. I so really wait, wait. Do. Yeah, okay. But you're not saying Tottenham finish above Arsenal, are you? No. What I was going to ask you. I don't think that. I'll never think that. Well, they they've done it I, seven. I, I, of the, I know. Haven't they done it seven of the they've last eight loads. seasons? Yeah, yeah, no, they've, yeah. they've done it loads. But certain yeah. things are just etched into my mind from my childhood and yeah. from where I grew up. I agree. I agree. Like Chelsea will finish above Tottenham this season. They won't. But Chelsea always finish above Tottenham, and therefore Chelsea will finish. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, yeah. But you've not really been on the same page as I have with regard to Arsenal's brilliance. Mm. And now you're waxing lyrical about Tottenham. Mm. You don't think that Tottenham could potentially stop St. Totteringham's Day happening? You know, you know what it is? I, I noticed about that result on the weekend, and I, I still think we forget it. It was a draw. Mm. Spurs fans are celebrating like it was a win. Arsenal fans are celebrating like it was a defeat. That's the level of both clubs for me still. Arsenal are very, very upset with a draw. Spurs fans are very, very... Seem to be very, very happy with a draw. Yes, yeah, away from home though, and losing twice, and a penalty. Yeah, okay. You know, when you add all those things, you go away. From, you go away from home oh. to a ground where you have no, no luck whatsoever. Yeah. You go, you go away from home to your biggest rival, a ground where you always get beat. You're losing twice. One of them's a penalty. Yeah, it's a good point. And yeah, you celebrate. I don't think, I don't think that we can read too much well, into what, that. What do they lack in that eleven for you? They don't lack anything in the eleven. Romero, they lack depth. Romero centre back. I think they're. I, th- I honestly think they're okay for a top four finish. I yeah. would say depth is a problem. Yeah, depth. Is like a there just problem. isn't any depth. Like no, there, there Hoiberg any... came on. With I don't rate Hoiberg at all. No, no. I don't rate Richarlison at all. He's, I know he had his moments. He's awful. Who? Richarlison. Yeah, I agree. He's awful, and yep. I don't know. It's only because he's Brazilian. If he was from any other country on planet Earth, mm. we wouldn't have been talking about him. Yeah. The fact he's Brazilian has saved him. Richarlison. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they, they lack something for me. But it, it, look, if Madison and Son can stay where they are right now, Madison could be the best number 10 in the league right now because obviously mm. De Bruyne is being out. Do you know what I would say? I would say that if Tottenham, mm. if Tottenham had kept yeah, but you're Kane, about to make a big statement here. If they'd kept Kane, are they title challengers? No. 30 goals? No. I the don't only care. person who can rival Erling Haaland and Mohamed Salah is Harry Kane, yeah. who was a Tottenham player. Yeah. So suddenly. We're talking about one of the most decisive and brilliant and ruthless for, for, goal for as, scorers playing in this team that we're waxing. For, for as good as it is, for as good as it is, and look, I feel like I'm going to backtrack on what I said now about the likes of Poro and from, that backline's not good enough, is it, for a title challenge? Is that backline good enough for a title Son, Madison and Kane is 
goals galore. It's goals galore. It's goals galore. It's, it's goals galore. Every every top team, maybe apart from Newcastle, have a front three or four like that that will score goals. But remember, amount. Tottenham have already scored fifteen. Mm. Man City have only scored sixteen. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you put Kane. Kane by now has scored. A minimum, like, let's be really conservative. Kane by three. now. So Tottenham, Tottenham scored talking, more goals than City. If you're talking Kane of three years ago, yes. Kane by now is dropping into Madison's space and making Madison not work. No. Yes. No, with Madison there, he wouldn't feel the urge to drop deep. He's not dropping deep at Bayern, is he? Because mm. he's got the support. Did they, did they play a game with each other? Like the first no, game of the season? Was Kane gone before the... Did he yeah. not play one game? No. Okay. I don't okay. think so. Yeah, all right. I no, I don't think so. Played Mate, I'm suddenly thinking that if they kept Kane... With the goals that they're scoring, the mm. free flowing football, the feel good nature. Like, never before has Flav from the Fighting Cock texted yeah. me so much. Like, there is something different about this Tottenham approach. With Kane, are they title challengers? How can they not be? We're saying they're nearly title challengers now. You're no, putting no, the best. No, no, I'm saying they're fifth. Yeah, okay. So you're saying. You're, you're I'm saying that they're top four or five, fine. Yeah, so, yeah. so you're saying they're a Champions yeah. League club now. Mm. But I, I, think, I think it's too easy to do what you're doing. Mm. You're saying all the goals they've got plus add Kane 30. I don't think it works like that. They're scoring two goals a game. It, it sprints, it'll be spread open. Mm. Two goals a game. Plus Kane. How many has he scored by now? Minimum three? He's already got three or four by now. Yeah. He's already got three or so four they've scored more now. goals than City. Like Son has already scored five goals, you know. Madison's got two. It's crazy that. Say Kane's got... Four. Uh, he's probably got more than Son as well. Son's got five. Yeah, then then Son doesn't have five. Does yeah, he? maybe, maybe. Yeah, That's yeah, the thing. Yeah. We saw it last season. Son yeah. got three. But Madison's got two mm. and four assists. Imagine the link. I, I wonder. But maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. There is, there is a chance that. And the by the way, I've noticed with Son, mm. he's still got that little five yard burst of pace. But I don't think Son can play from the left anymore because I don't think he's got that pace. Remember mm. that pace where he scored that ma fantastic goal of the season where he went past yeah. half the... I don't think he's got that anymore. I think this number nine role suits him. So it'd almost be forcing Son to go back onto the left, which I don't think works for him anymore. I think Son through the middle actually works. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's Son true. through the middle works. Johnson on the left, Kulisewski on the right. They'll be there or thereabouts. But they, if they I'm a Spurs fan, I'm very, very happy. They? Mate, very, they were very good team. Because also, they seem to possess the arrogance, the chutzpah, the... Yeah. The desire, the happy, the happiness that's needed within and a Basuma's camp. And Basuma's turned into your Basuma. Yeah. Your Basuma that you saw him at Brighton against you boys, Chelsea. Oh, when he dominated. Yeah, it's he looks like, like he's got that about him now. Yeah. You know what it is? It must just feel like I'm going to play. I'm going to play now. Yeah. I'm playing. The manager thinks I'm in every single game. Him and Saar together. It's a good team. It's a good team. And so you're saying top five. I'm saying top five. I'm saying Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal, Newcastle, Spurs. United are not in it. How high? How high did you rate Postecoglou? He's good. He's good as an experienced manager. He actually reminds me a bit. This might be a bit of a big shout here. Klopp first season. Mm. I've, I've started to see him do things. You know, like celebrating a, a draw and a win. You know, when you come up from mind like he did against Sheffield United, like when he get all the players to run up and yeah. everyone clap. Klopp did this, and every single fan of other team liked Klopp first season, didn't they? Yeah. Like, oh, is this guy yeah, always yeah. smiling, hugging people? Give it a couple of seasons. Yeah, we shall. Give it a couple uh, of seasons. But no, good manager. Clearly a good manager. And see, it's not easy as well, by the way. People like to dig up about the job he did in Celtic. It's not easy to go up there. And, and uh, it's an easier league, but the expectations yeah. are you've got to win every single game. Yeah, people are very snide about very things like the Brisbane Roar and that as well. You've got to win every game. Yeah. got to win every game. Yeah, true. And I suppose Tottenham have got to thank their lucky stars, haven't they? Because hmm. they wanted Nagels, man. He, still, he would have been good, I think. Regard, no, no, no. I think this. Been good. It would have been good. I know you don't like him because he's no, skateboarding. I think and this. Yeah, I don't like the skateboarding. I know you don't. But I think that it's not necessarily who's a better manager. It's who's mm. better for a particular club. Yeah. And whether it was that Arnie slot, whether it was Julian Nagelsmann, I think Tottenham have annoyingly, really annoyingly, might have got, got it the right man. Finally. And I think I, finally, even I after think how they many managers? Finally, they might have got it. Mm. Even I think they make the Champions League now. Really, don't want to. Where did they finish last season? Eight. Okay. So it'd be a huge jump three places and lose your best player in your yeah, Premier League that's, history. It's that's incredible. Crucial. It's incredible. Can't say I've enjoyed this, but annoyingly, it's all true. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to Addy. The link is in the YouTube uh, description. And do me a favor before you go, give this video a like. It really does help us out. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.